Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to go through how to create a drop down list in Microsoft Excel. That means setting up the drop down list, creating input messages, as well as creating custom error alerts for when there's incorrect data being entered. A drop down list is a useful tool when you know that there's going to be multiple people working within the same file. It's also useful when you're creating templates where users have different comfort levels when using Excel. In either case, it's a great way to control the type of information that's being entered into your spreadsheets. It only takes a couple of minutes to create a drop down list, but it will save you a ton of time in the future. So make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video to make sure you have all the information that you need. And with that said, let's get into the video. In this example, we have a tracking sheet where we want to be able to track whether or not we've received applications for each person in this list. This example is a great way to illustrate just how useful the drop-down list can be. Now let's say that we don't have a drop-down list set up here and there's multiple people working within it. One person might put a Y, which will indicate yes. Whereas the next person might actually type out the entire word yes, just like this. Both of them mean the same thing, however they are treated as different entries. And in Excel, we always want to have data entered consistently. So let's go ahead and create a drop down list to ensure that we have consistent data entered. So the first thing you need to do to set up a drop down list is select all of the cells where you want the drop down list to show up. Next, we'll go up to the data tab and then click on data validation. When you open up data validation, there will be a pop up and under settings, under this allow drop down, we're going to select list. Now in the source box, we're going to type in yes, and then comma, and then no. So that way we only have two options to pick from. Then I'll click OK. Now we have a drop down list where the only options to pick from are yes and no. If someone was to type in the letter Y, they would receive an error message that looks like this. This value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell so they can cancel it and try again. Something that we can add to our drop-down list to help guide users when entering data is by using an input message. So if we go back to our data validation, there's this input message section right here. Here we'll put a title such as select yes or no, and our input message can say select yes if received and no if not. And then I'll click OK. And now an input box is shown and this will tell the users exactly what they need to pick. One more thing that we can add to our drop down list is a custom error alert. Now here's what the generic error alert looks like, but we can make our own. So let's do that. So I'm just going to hit cancel here, go back into our data validation, and then go to error alert. We can choose a different style, but I'll keep it at stop. And then the title will be error. And the error message will say, you did not select yes or no. Then I'll click OK. And then I'm gonna try and type in just the letter Y again. Now we got our own error message saying you did not select yes or no. So that's how you create a simple drop down list. Let's move on to another example. In this next example, we have another tracking sheet where we want to be able to track the status of the application for each applicant. We're going to set up the drop down list a little bit differently, where we're going to use information in cells within our worksheet to build our drop down list. So over here in column D, we have our list of statuses, which is what our drop down list will contain. When you build drop down lists this way, the first thing that you need to do is convert this cell range into a table. And one way to do that is to first select a cell within the range, then go up to the insert tab and then click table. Save my table as headers, then click OK. Now we can go ahead and create our drop down list. So just like our first example, the first thing you need to do is select all of the cells where the drop down list will appear. Then you go up to the data tab, 
then select the data validation button and then under settings in this drop down select list. Now instead of typing in our options in the source box we're just going to click this button here and then we need to select all the items in our table. So one way to do that is to hover your cursor until it turns into a black arrow like this then left click. Then we'll say OK to this and let's input a message just like our previous example. So we'll say select uh, status and then just pick a status. We'll also put in an error alert that says error and we'll say invalid selection. Then we'll click OK. And now we have a drop down set up. Now let's say that we need to add another status to the drop down list. Because we set up our information as a table earlier, that makes this process really easy. All you need to do is go to the end of the table and type in the new status. When you hit enter, the information automatically gets added to the table. And because of that, the drop down list will also have that new status too. The last thing that I want to show you is how to clear a drop down list from your worksheet. In order to do this, you would select all of the cells where a drop down list appears, click data validation, and then click clear all. And then click the OK button. And that's how you create a drop down list in Microsoft Excel. If you guys found this information useful, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.